Hi, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Libra. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in matters of the heart in this month of October and what mindset you need to have in order to maximize those blessings. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I'm going to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike for your love your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you can continue to please like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Libra. So like I said before, I'm going to take a look here at what blessings you have coming in your direction in the month of October in matters of the heart. And I'm also going to take a look at what mindset you need to have in order to maximize those blessings. Okay. So blessings coming in in matters of the heart here for single Libra. We have here for you, uh, go outside. So connect with nature. Okay. Now this is, this could be one or two things. You may be spending a lot of time indoors, or you may be really wrapped up in the hustle and bustle of whatever it is that you may be doing. Okay. So whether that's responsibilities, whether that's school, whether that's work. Okay. So there may be a lot of things that are keeping you indoors. And you're not really, um, connecting with the outdoors, that energy, the, the sun. Okay. That vital, uh, energetic force, right? So what blessings are coming in your direction, this ability to connect with nature and to, you know, take a walk, uh, you know, instead of, uh, you know, riding, uh, you know, mass transit or, you know, the car or things of that nature to add a little bit more of either a walking or being or connecting with nature. Okay. So here with go outside, you have, you have been indoors too long, go at, go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah. And I feel that this is, uh, this has a lot to do with clearing your mind. So there may be here things currently that you may be experiencing with matters of the heart, uh, with your love life, where there is this need to really take a break. Yeah. Some of you may, may, um, may be feeling some type of resistance. Okay. It's like the universe wants to help the divine. Okay. Now, whether, uh, wh whichever your spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs may be, there's this sense here of, um, you know, the universe trying to reach out to you and sign symbol synchronicities and either a not being able to pay attention to those sign symbols and synchronicities, or just not being aware because you're so busy doing what it is that you're doing, right? So either a, you're not seeing it. Okay. Not paying attention to, uh, to them at all, or if they are there, you're really not taking notice. All right. So this is the reason why this is coming in for you as a blessing. So as a blessing by you connecting, uh, or I should say disconnecting with your electronic devices, disconnecting with the routine and connecting more with being outside, taking a walk, okay, getting some fresh air is going to allow you to be a little bit more receptive, being more in that yin energy. And that is for you here, um, something that you are going to have as a blessing because ding, da, 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 ding, here you have hope, all that you've been hoping, desiring, and wanting here. Okay. Whether it's through visualization, daily affirmations, prayer, uh, visualization boards, boards, law, law of attraction, whatever it is that you've been hoping, wishing, wanting, and desiring is going to come here. Potentially opportunities are going to open up for you in order for you to grab them. But this is the thing. If you are resisting, it's very difficult for this energy to, uh, in a way, blossom and flourish and come into your alignment, right? So in order for you to do that here, Libra, your blessing this month is all about you taking the time to connect with the outside, just taking a walk, going to nature, going to the park, having a cup of coffee outside instead of indoors, you know, that type of energy in order for you to really assess and really enjoy and be 
in your present moment of grounding. And that's when it's easiest for your guides, okay, the spiritual realm to really connect with you. It may come across here as an aha moment, okay, as in uh, like the Ace of Swords, this breakthrough of clarity. All of a sudden, you're quiet, you're drinking coffee, just relaxing, and boom, there's an important thought that comes through your mind or how to resolve certain things in matters of the heart, okay? Now, let's take a look here, and you have the Seven of Coins. All right. So seven of coins is the seven of pentacles. This means that there is this energy of continuing to go up the ladder. Okay. By putting in the hard work, the dedication, the focus, the determination, and most of all, being patient with yourself, there is this sense of ascending in the month of October. So either a ascending into whatever it is that you've been hoping, uh, wishing, dreaming, and, uh, you know, trying to call into your, uh, you know, your energetic frequency here, that could be, uh, that, that blessing that's coming in for you. And it's interesting because I'm also getting, you know, outside the ethereal, the sky being up in the sky and you kind of in a way providing this, um, pathway. Okay. So when you are in this receptive energy, there is going to be this sense of blessing coming in as a pathway, an idea, hard work, ways that the ethereal, okay, your own spiritual guides, spiritual mentors, okay, can connect with you here in the month of October for you to kind of in a way, um, again, not be so resistant. Again, I'm getting here, pay attention to sign symbol synchronicities. Those may be coming up for you and uh, help you continue to uh, to manifest these ideas and these desires that you have been doing. Here in the month of October, uh, clarifying go outside, we have strength and wisdom. And like I said before, when you take the time to, in a way, take uh, that time to step back, to connect more with yourself, to connect with your higher, uh, self, that yin energy, there is going to be this reward of you being able to understand certain things in a clearer way. Why? Because you're disconnecting from electronical devices. You're disconnecting from the hustle and bustle of the everyday. And you are in a way sitting outside one with nature. And that creates and cultivates this energy that um, is necessary here for you to kind of in a way ground yourself and also be open to sign symbol synchronicities and paying attention to those. Now, here with control and hope, like I said before, I was getting this sense here of the ethereal. Okay, whatever, you know, whichever your spiritual or religious beliefs may be here, there's this sense of someone from the higher realms, okay, could even be your higher self connecting or trying to connect with you and you being resistant, okay? Not perhaps consciously, but unconsciously being resistant because you're so much in the hustle and bustle of your every day and so much into electronical devices, whether that be TV, being too much indoors, um, maybe being, you know, too much on your phone and things of that nature. But guess what? The reason why I'm saying this again, and it's coming across here as a, a clarity here for you is because this card here says a close friend acts on your behalf. So here the blessing for you, Libra, is could be, it could be a friend, okay, or someone that you may meet here in the month of October, okay? So in a way, um, so so you can see that whatever it is that you've been hoping, wishing, praying, and uh, visual visualizing is in a way coming into fruition. So that's the first one. The second one, this may be uh, celestial help ethereal help that's coming from the divine. Okay. So either way here, there is a sense of, uh, help coming and reaching out towards you. But again, here, um, Libra, it's all about you paying attention and seeing those signs, symbols, synchronicities, and those opportunities in order to grab them. Because right now there may be this, a little bit of resistance. You're trying to control things too much in your life and not allowing your energy to surrender to the divine here with the seven of coins, you have the gate, a barrier keeps you from your goals. Like I said earlier, this is all about you releasing those barriers here in the month of October and really reaching up for the stars, reaching up, having 
having that portal, that connection between you and the divine or you and the ethereal. Last but not least, let's take a look here. Libra, at what might say you need to have in order to maximize these beautiful blessings here that are coming all for you in the month of October. All right. So as you saw, that just popped out of the deck. And you have here that the mindset that is needed in order for you to maximize these beautiful blessings that says, I trust in myself to make the right choices. That's one mindset. And this could be your daily affirmation here for some of you. It says, I make the time to experience joy. Like I was saying earlier, confirmation about you taking some R&R &R and just connecting uh, with nature and disconnecting with the, uh, you know, with elect electronic devices or going outside a little bit more. And I am in control of my emotions. Libra, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexitaro logo to be part of the Lexitaro family. Click down here and up here for more messages. Check down at the bottom in the description box. I have my website up and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.